Hello guys and welcome to a pug gaming tutorial. Now in this video I wanted to help by answering a question that often comes up on forums and on reddit which is what mods do you use when detailing? So in this video I wanted to list which mods I'm currently using to help with my detailing in my videos. So let's get on with it. In no particular order the first one I wanted to talk about is the prop and line tool. This was an absolute game changer when it was first released and it pretty much just allows you to draw lines of props and trees just like you do with roads. And as you can see here on the screen there's a well laid out box where you can change your spacing and your angles. Now not only does this allow you to save a lot of time when it comes to creating new designs but the detail level you can now achieve with this mod is absolutely amazing. Certainly a mod I would recommend. Now the next mod is one that you may not quite consider being a mod for actually detailing but it's a very very handy tool if used in the way that I'm about to tell you. The next mod is the cinematic camera and whilst this is brilliant for recording videos it's also great for detailing and what I mean by this is the level of detail you can achieve from zooming in using the cinematic camera while still in the in-game play allows you to really make those placements in the exact place possible. It just makes controlling the whole game a lot, lot easier, certainly when you come into those very specific areas of detail. On a similar level, the Find It mod is an absolutely great one and one that I've really taken full advantage of during my designs and just really helps you, aids you to save a lot of time when you're trying to find those assets you've recently downloaded from the workshop. Now next up is one of the biggest game changers in my opinion, it's the Move It mod. So not only does this now allow you to replace props that you've already put down and move around, you can also copy and paste these also. And what makes things even better is you can actually highlight and copy and paste a number of different assets in one go. So if you created something you wanted to mirror, whether it's a road or assets or props or anything altogether, you can now do so. Now next up is the more beautification mod. Now this allows you to have 65,000 props in game, which when you're detailing is definitely required. It also allows you to access your existing props through the decorative main toolbar button. Now next up is Ploppable Rico. Now this mod will allow you to plop buildings that function as residential, industrial, commercial or office. Now this makes life a lot easier when coming to design because you don't want to have to do themes every time to select certain buildings to sort of spawn. So this mod is great for that and it's certainly one that I would highly recommend. Now next up is the prop snapping mod. Now this mod allows you to snap props to buildings and elevated roads just like in the asset editor. So this mod itself allows you now to add assets and props onto buildings, on top of roofs, on top of skyscrapers etc. So it makes detailing a lot more exciting. Next up we have the decor prop fix and hover area. Both of these mods are great to use in combination. The first being the prop fix allows you now to use the much larger decor sizes which is 8 by 8 meters. And the hover area tool now allows you to easily click the location of each one you place down. So if you do make a mistake you don't have to delete a whole patch worth of areas to actually delete the one you wanted. Which makes life far far easier. Next up is the Surface Painter. Now this is a great plugin extra which allows you to actually draw terrain down. Previously before this mod you had to actually get the filler assets or pretty much just leave it as it is with the blank terrain. So this now opens up a lot more in terms of terrain detailing which is something the game was lacking in the early stages. So this is a great mod for those people who want to do so. Now building control level up and the no abandoned buildings both work together extremely well. You don't want to have a city built where the buildings themselves end up disappearing because there's not enough people to live in the area. So this is a great asset to add in to keep those cities looking absolutely amazing. 
The building theme per district also allows you to create much more realistic zones and it allows you to have a template of a particular build such as this video being a British housing theme. Along the same theme, the disable zone check has been one that's really, really helped me out. Certainly when you're doing some sort of combination of different buildings on top of one another or just placing buildings outside of the actual grid. So this now means that the actual game won't check if this building is on its right grid, which means you can place things wherever you like. Now the no more purple ground is just a great way to remove that horrible, horrible ground texture. Building eyedropper tool adds a hotkey which is the letter T to copy and place ploppable buildings which makes things a lot easier when you're coming to add a number of the same item. Unlimited tree mod is pretty much what it says on the tin, so too is the random tree rotation. So both together work very well and allow you to create some a lot more dense sort of areas of tree. The extra landscaping tool allows you to place natural resources in game, whether that be the tree brush, terraform or water tool, these are highly required when you're detailing a new town or city. To accompany this video I have also created on the workshop the list of all the mods that I use for my detailing. As I say, these mods in this video are not all of the ones I use but the most common ones. And as we all know, the workshop and mods are always being updated. New ones are coming around left, right and centre. So whilst this video can't be updated monthly, I will be updating my collection on the workshop. So click the link on the description below to see my full list of mods. And I will update those as new ones become available. And that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. So I'm hoping that some of these mods will help you out if you haven't found them all already. So it will take your deselling to the next level and I hope it makes you enjoy the game as much as it does for me. So guys, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please drop me a subscription and if you like the video, hit that like button. Other than that, I will catch you all very, very soon. Happy detailing.